Yeah, as a survivor of stalking, I personally know what it feels like to be scared for your life and the life of those you love most. In my early 20s, I was in a very violent relationship and it left me really scared and fearful for my life. Stacy Sawin and Asha Shu share the experience of living through trauma. It was honestly a very scary situation. Their terrifying struggles inspired them to advocate for others. They interviewed hundreds of survivors of domestic abuse. These quotes are from some of them. My ex-boyfriend was very controlling to the point where I wasn't allowed to spend my own income on anything. He physically had my money, so I couldn't actually leave. 99% of survivors are experiencing financial abuse, which means their harm doer is limiting their access to cash, credit lines, and physical assets. With that in mind, Stacy and Asha joined forces late last year to create Finability, a nonprofit with a mission to financially empower survivors of domestic abuse. Without access to cash or credit lines, many survivors are facing an impossible choice between being houseless or living with their harm doer at high risk. Finability, the website, allows survivors of domestic abuse to start with a financial assessment. Then they're directed to local resources like credit unions. One of the biggest barriers for survivors isn't the fact that there aren't financial products available to them, it's that they can't access the safety information to determine which ones might best suit them. It's not that survivors can't apply for credit cards or open accounts. But if they do, the company could send an unsolicited piece of mail to their home and tip off their abuser. Finability would prevent that. Um, so what we do is we call up the credit union or the financial institution. We talk to them and we make sure that um, we have a clear understanding of what that process looks like. In the next year and a half, Finability aims to help over half a million survivors, providing access to financial resources needed to permanently leave abuse, turning a shared trauma into a shared mission. And empowering them to live their best and most fulfilling life. Christelle Kumwe, KGW News.